Over the last few months, a lot of party members, including people here in my own constituency, um, members of trade unions, people from across the country, have been asking me whether I would consider standing for the deputy leadership of our Labour Party. And the reason that I haven't said so up until now is because we've actually got a really good deputy leader. We've got John Prescott. And as a trade unionist and a party activist, He's been absolutely crucial to everything that our party's been able to achieve over the last 10 years. But now that John's said that he's going to stand down at the same time as the Prime Minister, uh, there are a number of colleagues who are currently in the campaign, and I think it's absolutely right and proper that I make my position clear, and that is that when there is a campaign for the deputy leadership, then I intend to be a candidate at that election and to put forward a very, very positive programme for the Labour Party as we go forward. Um, we've had some pretty tough times in the last 10 years. We've also had some really good times. And I believe that we have helped to transform this country by having a Labour government in power. My absolute top priority is going to be to campaign in the elections in Scotland, in Wales, in the local government elections uh, on May the 3rd to try and make sure that we get Labour victories in as many places as we possibly can. Because it is Labour councillors, Labour MPs, Labour ministers, Labour people in our trade unions that actually make the difference to people's everyday lives. And I believe that having a fourth term Labour government can help us to continue to transform our country and particularly to give young people the chance to do things in their lives, to get a really good education, to get a good job and to be able to make the most of everything that they've got to offer. If we really want the next 10 years to be Labour years, we have to make sure that we stay in touch with the people. We have to remind ourselves why we won three successive general elections. Protecting people's rights at work, creating a fairer society and investing massively in health and education. I've spent all my political life campaigning in communities on just these issues, whether as a local party member, a councillor, the Member of Parliament, or as a government minister. But sometimes it can seem that perhaps we lose the connection between the values that brought us into the Labour Party and the way we implement things on the ground. I'd like to hear from all of you about how we can, in our next period in office, really make sure that we're addressing the things that local people want us to do. How can we carry on improving housing? How do we make sure that our systems are fair? How do we make sure that the police are protecting people on the streets in their communities? In the best traditions of the Labour movement, I think it's time for a great debate about how we take our party and our government forward. And I really look forward to hearing from all of you.